Hi guys, it's Ben here. How is it all going? Liverpool's fixtures have just come out for the 2018-19 season. I haven't even properly looked at them yet. I've just seen they've got West Ham first, so this is pretty much my instant reaction. Um, it's a day which some people are quite carefree about. It's all like, oh, we can play everyone twice anyway. But for me, um, as someone that goes to a lot of games, it's always nice to kind of map out where you're going to be going at certain times of the year. Uh, you, want, you want your nice seaside towns, your Bournemouth, your Brighton's at nice hot times of the year. Um, and you know, obviously always look out for when you're going to Old Trafford, when you're going to Goodison Park. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's see uh, what Liverpool are going to be up to. So West Ham at fir first game of the season, Palace away, then Brighton at home. That is a very nice first three on paper. Um, you know, we should be getting at least seven points in those games if we can get nine. Um, then we've got Leicester away, that's before the international break. So those are your first four games. So, you know, ten points maybe from those four games and you've got a really nice chance. Um, of being in a good position going into the international break. Then it gets a lot tougher. We go to Spurs, Southampton at home, go to Chelsea, then we host Man City. So that kind of beginning of the autumn period there, very tough. Uh, then we go to Huddersfield, then we host Cardiff, then we go to the Emirates. Um, so Merseyside Derby, the first one's in December, just as it was uh, last year. We also play Man United in December at Anfield on the 15th. Um, what's the new year, oh my word, the new year schedule, wow, Arsenal at home on the 29th of December and then just a couple of days later Man City away, obviously this could get moved for TV so we might end up playing you know, one game on the 30th or one game on the 2nd there, um, what is the first, what is the new year's day for on this year, um, that, I think that would be interesting, to I guess a Saturday is the the Saturday will be the 29th, yeah, and then the first is a Tuesday. Okay, City away, I mean, that is obviously going to be on TV, as is the Arsenal game, so we don't really know how many days we're going to get in between those, but that's a tough, tough festive period that we have got Newcastle at home and Wolves away before that. Um, then we go to Brighton in January, which is devastating. Um, Palace and Leicester at home, West Ham away, okay. Old Trafford in February, day before my birthday. Could get moved to my birthday very feasibly. Everton away a couple of weeks later. Feels like a similar pattern to the season just gone. Everton and Man United both in sort of uh, February, Mar well yeah, March wasn't it? Um, okay, Spurs at home in late March. Chelsea at home there as well. I mean, the running is actually quite nice. Um, I know we've got to play Spurs and Chelsea in those last seven games there. Um, but the last four, Cardiff, Huddersfield, Newcastle and Wolves. And, and the Chelsea and Spurs games are at home. We've also got Burnley at home, Fulham away um, from sort of March onwards. So the last nine games, although we've got to play two good teams at home, isn't the worst. OK, so what, how can you really analyse this? I suppose um, the, the start, the Christmas period in the end and, and the Derby game. So yeah, it's a really nice start. West Ham, Palace and Brighton. Um, all games we won last season, West Ham at home, Palace away, Brighton at home, uh, Leicester away we won as well, so you know, if we go on par with, with last season, that's 12 points from four, I think 10 would be very, very solid, then, then obviously we go to Spurs and that's where the test really begins. So, if we can just keep pace with the leaders uh, before that first international break, then you know, we'll be where we'll be and who knows what we can do. Um, Christmas, as I say, we've got Man United at home. Uh, on the 15th of December, Wolves at home on the 22nd, Boxing Day season, let's play Newcastle, and then it's Arsenal and City before that break uh, for the FA Cup weekend. So, there we have it. There we have it. Everton away uh, in March, Man United away in February. Um, that could be obviously around the time where Champions League, the last 16 games are being played, just was, as was the case last year. So that's not perfect, um, but United may well be in the same situation as us. Everton, I imagine, won't be. Um, what else? So the home games against those sides are both in December. Okay, so I, uh, it, there's no, there's nothing there that's kind of scaring me. Um, you know, bar bar obviously Christmas. I've not seen anyone else's fixtures, so I guess we'll have to sort of compare that. Um, but finishing at home to Wolves is absolutely lovely. Um, you know, maybe that will be the time when we bring home number nineteen. Newcastle away. I say what Newcastle away in May is lovely. If that if that. Uh, if that gets put on a, a Saturday evening, I mean, that's a lovely, lovely summer's night out in Newcastle. Um, Cardiff away in, in decent weather as well in late April, hopefully. Southampton. So, so Bournemouth and Brighton. When's Bournemouth away? Uh, I can't even see it. Oh, it's December. 
Can you believe that? Bournemouth away and Brighton away, both at crap times of the year. So no fun to be had there. Um, but it is what it is. Guys, leave a comment with your thoughts. How many points do you think we'll get from the first four games? So West Ham home, Palace away, Brighton home, Leicester away. Do you think we can get 12 points there? Um, and let me let, just let me know any kind of concerns, any thoughts on the fixtures, the way they've fallen. It's hard to analyse it, but I've had to do a reaction here. This is pretty much my instant reaction. I saw we had West Ham at home first, but other than that, pretty much nothing. Um, this is the first time I've seen it. So there you go. Leave a comment with your thoughts. And where are we going to finish this season in the Premier League? It's about time we won it, isn't it? Where are we going to finish? Um, happy World Cup Day. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, and I'll see you next time.